could I address the decoupage on the front of this drawer? For those of you that haven't been following along the, the makeover of this little stag unit, I painted it all in this lovely lilac colour. And then when I assembled it with drawback in, I thought it well, I thought it looked a little bit plain, and there just looked to be too much of this colour without a break in it at all. So I decided to repaint this central section uh, with a very light coloured paint um, because if you're going to be applying decoupage you really need something light underneath it to reflect the light up so you can see your, see your decoupage in all its glory. Now this is um, tissue paper that I bought from Zazzle zazzle.co.uk if you're over here in, in Great Britain and zazzle.com if you're in the States. They have some fabulous papers, really, really lovely. Be warned, you have to buy them in twos, you can't buy them singularly and it is a very seductive sight. You just think, oh well I'll have two of those and two of those and then when you look at what your basket adds up to, it's like, oh no, what can I live without? Um, however, the day the postman brings it is a very, very exciting day. Anyway, I've got this piece that I've chosen. It's got a uh, legible script on it and just some sort of background hazy roses that I, I, I think will look nice. To be honest, I didn't have a huge selection to choose from. I've just put another order in, um, but that isn't here yet. So out of the ones I had left, I think this one is, is just fine. I think I think it'll do the job nicely. Now I've cut it out to roughly what I think, it's obviously too wide here, not by much because that lilac line is inside where the where it needs to go. But I think it's just a millimetre or so too wide and if, if I get this end exactly on it you can see that it looks like it's been cut short. It's been cut at that for a reason and that's because during the process of doing the uh, De decoupage this tissue actually stretches so let's get on with that then and see what we have to do for these larger if, if this was only a, fr a fraction of this size I wouldn't be about to use the the technique that I'm going to show you now I would just literally put the decoupage gel down put my tissue paper over it get some cling film and straighten it out but this I think it, it's just on the cusp, it's just large enough for me to employ the technique that I'm going to show you today. So get your, t your tissue the right way around, that's the way I want it to be, right sides looking up at me. So take it off, turn it over so the wrong side is looking up at you and place it onto a piece of plastic. Now this plastic isn't anything special. Um, it's it's just regular plastic. This happened to be from an A3 poly pocket that I cut up just to give me some pieces of plastic to work on. Um, if you don't have that or, or are doing a much larger piece, you can use cling film, straighten it out, and you can use cling film for this technique. So the first thing to do then, bearing in mind, as I say, it's wrong side facing facing up. It's got a little fan brush and you really do need a fan brush because you're going to be applying water to this and it tears so, so easily. So gentle hand, get some water and starting from the centre, just brush it out towards the edges. Now you can see the stretch in that paper, so just take your hand gently, just pull it so it goes straight. And then keep working along. So again we've got some slack in there. And when I say pull the edge gently, I mean it's, yeah, please be gentle. This is wet tissue paper. But you do want to get rid of all those wrinkles as they occur. So there, that's great. Now we've just got the other the other side to do. Same same process from the centre out. Don't be afraid of using too much water. 
bit of too much than too little. It's much easier to get rid of the bubbles at this stage than it is when they're actually applied to the piece. So just go over it, make sure that you push all those bubbles as gently as you can towards the sides. That looks pretty good. Looks okay to me. I'll just leave that for a second while we apply a coat of watered down glue. This could be Mod Podge, it could be PVA with water in it, it could be any, any um, decoupage medium or glue that you like really. So we're going to paint this onto the area that we're going to apply the decoupage to. Try not to get too much outside the area but certainly cover the area quite well. quite generous with it. I mean, once it's on you can always go back in under the edges and apply a little bit more if you need to. And I think that's okay. It's looking okay. So this is where the magic happens. Pick up your tissue and turn it round so the right side is facing you and then we begin to, to place it. Try and get your corner on your corner, it's quite hard to see this. I think that's right. Then just place it down and then run your hands along, try and get rid of as much spare water and everything else and flatten that decoupage down. I think I'll put this on wrong. Oh no, I know, that's all right. That's that. Right, so what we have showing here is a good point actually. Because I've painted inside the area, I've now got this mauve showing through. So it's not um it's not showing the decoupage right to the end of the of the corner. I class that as a mistake. Um I'm not altogether happy with it. I should have painted white right to right to the edge there. But anyway, that's we're looking at the technique more than anything here. And that's the technique. It's got it's beautifully flat. And then take your your fan brush with your glue that's watered down and it's essential that this is watered down at this stage because it will tear it. Plenty on there because you don't want it to tear. And just give it a coat of coat of glue. I, I did some projects a while back where I forgot I forgot this stage completely. I forgot to put glue on. Um <laughs> put them on the radiator to dry and when I went back, <laughs> all the decoupage was just lying on the floor. Uh, I just completely forgotten to glue it on. So that is that beautifully smooth decoupage over a large area done with no grief whatsoever. So I hope you'll be able to employ this method. It's I think it's loads easier than, than the um, putting glue on, then your tissue, then using the cling film to straighten it out. And you do get a truly smooth wrinkle free finish. Thank you. See you soon.